Hi guys, welcome back. So right now I'm showing you a clip of where we left off in my entryway in my last video. So I wanted to give my entryway a little makeover. There was a certain thing I didn't like about it and that I thought needed to be changed out. I also wanted to take this opportunity to start decorating for Christmas. So I found this canvas painting online and I wanted to do a little DIY on it and just make it my own. So I'm going to start by using a drill to unscrew the hanging mounts from the canvas frame. Now this canvas only hung horizontal and I needed it to be hung vertical. After the pieces were unscrewed, I am just trying to set them where I want them to be, a good length apart from each other, but also centered. Now I'm just going to use the existing screws that came with it and re-drill back into the frame. And I'm going to repeat that process for both of the hanging mounts. Now I'm not done. I of course had to add some glitter and glam to it. So I'm taking some Mod Podge, some glitter foil flakes, and of course glitter to just make it sparkle. Now I don't have a certain technique here. I just eyeball it and see where I want more or less and it just depends on your preference. Now if you see my last video you know I did not like that painting there. So I had to get a new one. I'm going to just be nailing some nails into the wall and hang this new one up. Now this painting was huge, so I struggled a bit to get it up there by myself. I absolutely love the way this turned out. It's so glittery, it sparkles from every angle. I love the texture that's in the painting. That already came there, so I didn't have to do any of that. I just had to make it shine. Now, you guys know glitter can be messy, so I had to hurry up and clean that up off the floor before I incorporated anything else back into the space. So I'm taking my horse and I'm putting it on the bottom shelf because I didn't want to get rid of it completely. I decided to move my candles onto the other side. That way, when you open the door, you see this huge Santa sitting there. Now I'm taking you guys along my designing technique because I wanted to show you guys it doesn't all come to me at once. I see pieces that I think would look great together, but actually incorporating them and making them blend together is a little bit challenging sometimes. I'm taking this burlap ribbon and I'm going to be measuring the length that I want it to be because it's going to drape over the books. I'm making a DIY garland now i can't take credit for this diy i saw another youtuber do it and i will link her video down below i absolutely fell in love with it when i saw her do it and i thought it would look great in my entryway now i felt like something was missing i found this present ornament and i'm trying to see how i can incorporate them into my design I also found this silver leaf tray and I thought it would look amazing layered underneath the hand sanitizer. I absolutely love the way this came out. I think it looks so simple yet so glam. Guys, I had to show you a close up on the Santa because I think the detail is insane. It's absolutely gorgeous. I found the silver leaf tray on Amazon. It was originally meant to be a jewelry holder, but I thought it would look perfect here. I love the way my DIY turned out. I already had these flowers. They weren't dead yet, so I still wanted to use them. The reindeer is from Kirkland, and of course the candles are from Hobby Lobby. I still felt something was missing, so I found this wreath from Kirkland's and I thought it would be perfect above the mirror. I think it gave my entryway the touch of Christmas it was missing. Now I also felt like
the ottomans were a little bit plain so I added a decorative Christmas pillow and a nice fur blanket. I think this oversized painting is a perfect size for this area. I also love the way the pillow and the blanket adds a nice warm inviting cozy feeling to the entryway. Now moving on to my dining room, I don't really do much in here. The decor stays pretty simple. Of course, I would love to have a beautiful tablescape one day, but for now, this is our main eating table and I just don't think it's practical. We eat on this table every day. It gets a lot of use and abuse, so a beautiful tablescape would just be in the way. I'm using a 7th generation disinfectant spray to get any germs off of that table before I start decorating. I found this mercury glass Christmas tree and I thought it would look amazing in the center of the dining table. I also found these hanging chair wreaths which added the touch of Christmas that the dining room needed. I wanted to give a little close-up because these jingle bells, they actually work, guys. Like, if you move the chair, all you hear is the bells jingle. So now, on my front porch, I'm going to be hanging this wreath. And yes, guys, I was struggling. I am sure it's a little bit challenging to do by myself. But I got it done. I'm using a command strip in the inside of the door with some burlap string. Now I needed to get rid of my fall decor that was still on my front bench. So I'm just going to be taking those pillowcases off. I actually leave that blanket outside all year round because I don't know, I just love it. So the only thing I really do out here is I'm just replacing the pillow covers and I just change them for the season. Now I wanted to just fix the blanket really quickly and then go on to the other pillow on that side. So sometimes it's a struggle to get these pillows inside the pillowcases. My trick is to fold them in half and then get them halfway onto the pillow and then start tucking in the corners. So I found these pillowcases on Amazon, it says may you have the best Christmas ever, and just a simple Merry Christmas. Now it's a few weeks later and I finally got my rug in, so I'm just cleaning it up so we can get rid of this old rug that came with the house. <laughs> this was hard for me to do because I'm terrified of bugs so there was so many everywhere. Now, before I put my rug down, I wanted to wipe the door down and give it a good clean and actually finish painting. The door was originally white and I just never got to the frame after I painted the door white. So now I wanted to take this opportunity to just quickly knock that frame out. So I lost footage of me actually putting the rug and showing you guys what it looked like. So here's a picture. Now we're at my main front entrance and I'm going to be placing this front porch sign out. So I absolutely love this sign. I found it at Big Long, so you can leave it blank or you can add one of the three wreaths that it included in the package. I love how they had one for every season. And since it's Christmas, this is the one I chose. So when decorating my front porch, I knew that I wanted to keep it simple. When I found this sign, I thought it was amazing and it gave it a nice, warm and inviting feeling to my home that I thought was missing. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye!